So far, we've been correcting the entire image, what would be called a primary color correction. And now we're going to tackle secondary color corrections. You can see here in the color board, I've already made a couple of subtle changes and I can use a shortcut key to turn them on and off just to see that it's not a great big change. To make a bigger change though, I want to change only part of the image. Now to get started, I'm going to add a correction. So this little menu at the top of the color board lets you add another color correction. This all resets, but now we're in color correction two. Previously we were in color correction one and we can flick back and forth between them as we want to. To make this a more obvious change, I'm going to go to saturation and just turn it completely off. Now that I've turned it off, making the whole thing black and white, I'm going to step out with a little gray arrow there and I'm going to add a limit to what that color correction is doing. I can limit it with a shape mask or a color mask using this menu here. I'm going to add a color mask. When you add a color mask, you get a little eyedropper. You can click and drag on part of the image and it will select similar areas of color. As I drag further and further, I get more and more colors. If I drag too far, I'll get almost the entire image. So you have to be careful how far you drag. I'm going to go right back, backing it off so I've only got blue. And even though I haven't selected everything, you can see that the selected areas are showing up in monochrome because we turned saturation completely off. But I want to add to that selection to get more of the blues. I can hold down the shift key and then drag again. And I want to make sure I don't get the green if I can avoid it. So I'll just drag a little bit more, but leave the green out. And I'll shift click again, shift click again, and now I've got almost all the blue and I have actually picked up a little, little bit of the green as well. Let's just play through and see how this looks. It looks pretty good, but as you could tell, some of the green was affected. So how can I remove areas like that? Well, if you hold down the option key and drag, you get the eyedropper with minus. So I'm subtracting this selected area from my selection. Try that again, and maybe over here again. And you've got to watch, don't go too far, because you don't want to go into an area that's actually an area you want to affect, like the, the beat there I'm affecting, or some of the blue. So I might subtract a little bit more, and then shift again to re-enable it. Now you can get into a situation where you can't quite find the middle ground, where you can't get the blue and not the green selected in this example. So if you still can't quite get it right, open out the color correction and have a look at the controls on the color mask. We have a softness control here. Now if I turn that down, then you'll see some of the blue has crept in around there, but all of the green has now been excluded, which is kind of what I wanted. So I'm going to hold shift and select a little bit more, hold option and deselect a little bit more and then maybe put softness just back up a tiny, tiny amount. And that is looking a lot better. The interface over here lets you disable the eyedropper if you don't want to work with it anymore. Just click that button and now you're back to just a regular arrow cursor. If you want it back, go ahead and click on it. By using color masks, you have a way to limit any color correction effect to a specific color in the image and you can still go back into the color board and change that. So if in fact you want to hypersaturate the blue, that's not a problem. Or if you want to change all the blues to something greener, something a little more red, which will make purple, or simply to make it even more blue, then that's all doable. But the more you try to get away with, the harder it's going to be to get a realistic result. In the next video, we'll see how to use shape masks to isolate color corrections rather than color masks.